Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than it normally is. Um, I kind of just wanted to make a talking video going over some of the things that are going on in DPD at the moment. Some of you may have heard about this, some of you may not, but I did want to go over it and kind of just talk about it really quick. I wanted to talk about the DDoS issue that's been going on in DPD. This is a really serious issue and on the surface it seems like it only affects the bigger and more well-known streamers, but it can and is actively affecting everybody at this point. This issue is not just restricted to PC, because the people who are DDoSing seem to be able to target pretty much anybody that is in the lobby. And if you're unaware, DDoSing is where somebody floods your IP with packets and disrupts the normal traffic, and basically just makes it so your internet is unusable. You wouldn't be able to stream or game or really do anything online at all. So recently a lot of streamers have been coming forward and talking about how they are being targeted by DDoS attacks, which is obviously a major concern for security and privacy reasons, but also because uh, for most of these major streamers, streaming is their job. Streaming is quite literally their livelihood. And if you're not a content creator, you're far less likely to get hit by this and probably won't even be affected at all, but it is still possible. And even if you yourself are not directly affected, it's obviously a major problem when members of the DVD community are rendered completely incapable of playing the game at all. I've been keeping an eye on reports from streamers and it seems like the ones who have VPNs enabled are able to hide their IPs and instead of they themselves being attacked, it's the other players in their lobbies that are getting targeted instead, which means that the DDoSers are somehow able to identify which lobbies these streamers are in. So this clip that I'm about to show you is from a streamer by the name of Trickster Shadow and the survivors in his game just get completely lagged out with well over a thousand ping and are just rendered unable to do anything at all. I, I personally like the new killer. Wait, is she down there but she can't save because her ping is so high? Oh. <gasps> so on her screen, I'm guessing she saved the person she's killing them. So it's gotten to the point where even random players in these streamers' lobbies are no longer safe from this issue. I've actually had a couple members from my own community come forward and talk to me about their own experiences with DDoS issues at this point. And these people are not streamers, they're just regular players who are being targeted by cheaters who are just out to ruin somebody's day. And most of the accounts that I've heard about have been games where somebody in the lobby is blatantly cheating, and then either during that game or in the following games after, the victim's internet suddenly just tanks completely and they're getting booted from games and they're just not able to use their internet in any capacity whatsoever. And they're essentially just at the mercy of these DDoSers until they decide that they want to stop DDoSing these people. Um, at this point, no one is really 100% sure how they're able to do this, but it's pretty scary how they can target literally anybody. And even if you're on console, you're still connecting to a lobby that has an IP address that can be DDoS just like any other one, so nobody is really safe from this. On March 13, Behavior actually did make a tweet letting everybody know that they're aware of the issue going on right now, but they made it extremely clear that they have no idea what is happening and they don't know how to fix it at all. So they've essentially asked the community through Twitter um, if anybody knows what is happening and how to fix it to let them know. So that's not... That's not exactly very reassuring. <laughs> and to really add on to that growing confidence from that tweet, uh, it should probably be said that this is not the first time DVD has had this issue. This has actually been an issue in the game for about four years, and Behavior has known about it all of this time and just never did anything about it. And a couple years ago when this issue last arose, Behavior kind of just ignored it. That was their solution, just ignore it until the DDoSers got bored of it and just went away on their own. So at this point, I'm honestly pretty worried. Uh, this has been going on for years and nothing is ever done. It's just getting pushed under the rug. And my only recommendation I can give to anybody who still wants to play DVD during this time is to get a VPN. And if you're on Steam, private your profiles. If you are looking for a VPN, not just for DVD, but even just for casual internet browsing, just to feel more safe and secure, then I would definitely recommend NordVPN. I'll leave a link down in the description below that you guys can use if you want to save some money if you do choose to go that route. 
And if anybody else has any other possible solution ideas, then please feel free to comment them down below. And just stay safe out there, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!